Hi, and welcome back. So you joined me this morning at 7 a.m. We're two miles into our ride. I'm gonna try and extend the distance a little bit this morning. I've done a handful now, 15 mile rides. And I don't mind the ride, but I do struggle a little bit with the recovery from them. And I'm only currently riding twice a week. Because I don't want to overdo it at this stage. It's very easy to go guns are blazing when either you start a sport or you're getting back into a sport. And overdoing it can cause injuries. You have sort of micro damage to your muscles inside that you can't always feel. You need to let those recover. So that's what I've been doing. But today, we're gonna try and go a little bit further. But the most noticeable change for this morning is I've swapped the pedals out. I still have my old shoes. So I'm currently clipped in rather than on them normal pedals. After my crash, I always said I never ride clipped in pedals again. But then again, I never thought I'd be riding again. So that's awesome, really. Currently riding into a headwind at the moment. I've got to go along a main road during this ride. But I'm always a bit nervous about because it it's not particularly wide. It's quite fast. For the cars, I mean. So I'm hoping this wind will be behind me on there so that I can get along it as quick as I can and get off it at my turning. Immediately, we're 4.64 miles in now. Immediately, these pedals and the clipped in shoes are worlds apart from flat pedals. I feel so much more assured on the bike here today. It's much, much better. This is a dicey junction that come out of on a bike. We're away. So this bit of road now, you haven't seen before on the vlogs. It's quite twisty. It's undulating. Although it's definitely harder to come back in the other direction. It's more downhill this way than up. I'm now doing 13 mile an hour. We were five miles in, we're 5.07 miles. And now we've got a nice downhill, around a nice bend at the bottom. Twenty-six mile an hour down there, which on this old steel Peugeot I think is a new record. Certainly for me anyway at the moment. There's a few riders who'll be doing almost double that speed down there. I've been looking at endurance bikes for the future moving forwards. But at the moment, this old Peugeot for getting my fitness back is really the ticket. I don't plan on really racing to the degree I did. And I think for the type of riding I'm doing, it would actually probably be the, the right one for me. So if you ride an endurance bike, drop it in the comments, but give me a positive of the bike and a negative of the bike. And I don't mean the company you bought it from is rubbish or this, that and the other. I mean, in riding style, what you find negative about riding an endurance bike. 
Right, this is the busy main road I talked about earlier on that I don't like actually riding along. But this time I'm on, it's actually quite quiet. So it's not too bad. This guy's turning off here. And conveniently, he never let me know. Right, away we go. Still can't get up it. <laughs> Six mile an hour I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> Whew. See what I mean here? Cars are doing 60, 70 mile an hour along this piece of road, and it's very narrow, and there's lumps in the road, holes, potholes. It's quite dicey. I think this bit of ride, road, sorry. I think this bit of road I would only ride at this kind of time of day. When I can get on and off it as quick as I can. Once I get round the bend in front of me, this bit of road does widen out a little bit and I feel a little bit safer once I'm there. Okay, we're on 10 miles. Currently doing 18.3 mile an hour. Averaging 14.3. Although I've turned, naturally we're riding. I've still got a headwind. I always think this kind of road is the relentless road of cycling. A nice straight road. It's undulating up and down. Not a lot to see. You're nervous because of cars. And you just pound it away. These are the sort of roads I think that turn you into a cyclist. That's the crest of the hill there. Out of breath. I'll tell you what, that's a view. Morning. Hello. Freshly powered field over there. Clear green over there. Rider in front. Doing 21 mile an hour, 14.8 average, 12 miles into the ride, 21.6. I'm quite pleased with that pace on this bike and at this early stage of training.
a double-edged sword riding along this bit of road. On the one hand, you've got a nice wide cycle path, which I'll drop onto now to show you. So we've got this nice wide cycle path here. We've got that lovely smooth road there. There's some good roundabouts in it, where we touched 22 mile an hour there. It's dicey riding on a cycle path at that sort of speed. Yet you're just slightly too slow for the cars. See like this guy, he's not he's oblivious. Oh, came off there a bit quick to meet the piece in the centre of the road. Oops, sorry. That, that's all right, that's why you don't ride on cycle paths. <laughs> he just spat at me. That's amazing. <laughs> Close one. <laughs> I've just been talking about that. I'm doing a vlog for YouTube and I just oh. spoke about that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. That's the thing of, you know, everyone using a towpath doesn't always work out. So last week you saw us on this towpath here, following along the dual carriageway. The one thing with this area is there are a lot of cycle paths, like the one we've just been on, like this towpath here. There's a good area for cycling a bike. It's not too bad at all. Lots of good views. A lot of farming going on now. They're settling the fields or setting the fields for crops. get up this hill and then we're back onto the back roads. Temperature's definitely coming up. That sun is now up in the sky and it's certainly warmed up since I first came out when there was a bit of a nip in the air. You get that little dawn dip whereas the sun comes over the horizon. The temperature just drops slightly before it comes fully up. Right, okay, we're away. Now, the road was actually closed up here during the week, but I was able to get through on a push bike and I just noticed it's still closed. So hopefully I can get through, because if I can't, it's a long detour back to get back onto the back lanes. On, on. He didn't give me a lot of room. <laughs> but we'll see when we get there. I got through the other day. <laughs> Morning. Well, I assume if he's coming in the other direction, he got through. Well, that looks a lot clearer than it did the other day when I saw it. In fact, that car is creeping. Oh, no, he's going round. I can say that car's creeping through. I think you could actually get a car around here now. This was all completely dug up during the week. But that's easy for a bike. So it's no drama. If you're enjoying this video, please do like it, 
give us a thumbs up. I've certainly enjoyed this ride with the clipping pedals more. We've done 16 and a half miles. Our average is down to 13.4 mile an hour. And I also had a little problem with the camera turn in which I've adjusted. Those couple of stops have just dropped off the average speed, but we've done 13 mile an hour. I seem to get slower every time I go out on this bike. We're on 16 miles now. I'm two to three miles away from home. So I think we should be close to the 20 miles. I may even do a little loop to get that. So this is literally my first 20 miler since getting back on a bike after a three year break following injury. Thanks for no room at all. I wouldn't mind, this is my side of the road. He came straight at me there. So thanks for watching. I guess this is what we all do as cyclists. Get out and about in the fresh air. I hope you've been out enjoying going out and about with me. And we'll see you again very soon. Hopefully the next video will be a servicing video. But if not, we'll be out on the bike again. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.